Hi everyone, it's Hannah with Like Just To Come. Hi, I just wanted to, I know I haven't been on lately, but I, um, I am working on some projects and I wanted to share this with you real quick and more exciting news, yay! Okay, <laughs> um, I was online looking for Rub and Buff and I had not seen any videos and I looked up on YouTube videos and could not find anything on Rub and Buff. Because you know me, if there's a way that I can make it myself, I'm gonna make it. Just like the texture paste, I have my recipe here on my bottle and there's my texture paste and that does work. Cause here is the texture paste. I had followed a different recipe before and I seem to like this recipe better. So um, if you want that, I'll give that to you. Um, but rub and buff is something I haven't ever used and um, I'm wanting to do a project with rub and buff um, a little bit um, because I'm always watching um, Kim's videos and she uses rub and buff and um, her projects are just awesome but anyways here's my rub and buffs that I just made today and these are the colors that I made And I got this little container. I think this is a pill container. And I bought this at the Dollar Tree. But you can also buy these little containers at um, Walmart in the, you know, the travel section. For, where you get travel shampoos and deodorants and stuff. And they'll work just as well. They're, I think, 97 cents for two of them. So those will work too. But I like this because it stacks. And basically, it's very simple. Let me show you. This is a metal piece, a corner piece, and I put rub and buff on it this morning right there, and it does not come off. I'm trying to show you closer. That's after, this is before, and it doesn't come off. I also did it on a piece of paper, just to see, and I'll, sh I'll do some right now. But basically, what happened was I went online to order, to see about ordering some rub and buff. Um, just to see how much it costs and everything. And on it, it on there it gives you a bunch of different options. Well, on there it said, showed a video about rub and buff. So I clicked on it and sure enough, it was someone showing how to make your own rub and buff. So I was so excited. Um, oh, I also did it on this jar too, right there. And so I was so super excited. So all you need, and I think you can use any type of glue. Albert's glue, she said it had, it has to be a clear glue so I use my Aileen's clear tacky glue and I think that's gonna work well um, but that's what I used I think most glues dry clear so I think you could use any glue um, and then you need some mica powder or perfect pearls um, me I use the Dollar Tree makeups and they work so, you know, I have all my little Dollar Tree makeups, and I just uh, put some of my glue in there, um, tap in some powder, stir it up, and there you go. You have your rub and buff. Let's see. There's my rub and buff. There's one color. I have, I've made a bunch of colors here, just to do it <laughs> because I could do that so you don't have to have just gold and um, I have yellow I have purple I have blue and I have black so basically I just took all my makeup colors and made some rub and buff with it and it works so so far as far as I can see it works good for me so I'm happy with it um, I want to find some different colors of makeup like um, copper maybe or some different kind of gold and maybe a deeper richer gold or maybe I'll mix and find out what it comes out to. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It, there's no recipe, it's just put in the glue, put in your powder, stir it up, put in more if you want um, to, you know, you can test it out like I did here to see if it's the color that you want it to be so and it does work as I showed you here and anyways um, so we're moving this weekend my office and so it's gonna be crazy um, um, not my personal office but where I work um, 
and um, geez, and then we have a birthday party, one of my grandbabies' birthday party. She's going to be 11, so we're going to that. We just got finished with my daughter's housewarming party last weekend, um, and it just seems like it just keeps happening. And um, I also am going to be a guest designer for Craft Supply One and Gina Designs. They're doing a special for March. Um, they're kind of combining forces. And so I've been asked to do that and I'm so, so thrilled. I, I'm just so honored. I feel so honored to, to be able to do that. So um, I'm super excited. And um, I think that's all and then so I'm gonna be busy in the month of March really super busy because I'm also leaving for Missouri on the 7th of April while well, me and Ray Ray are anyways um, to go visit my older son so we got a lot going on it's not even summer yet but anyways um, I wanted to share that with you and my good news and you know what? Oh, I know what the other good news is. I have over a thousand subbies. Yay! And I'm going to be doing a giveaway. That's going to be a great giveaway. So be watching out for that. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to do that because of everything going on. But stay tuned. And um, I'll thank you guys for that. I appreciate it. And you guys are awesome. Um, it's just amazing to me, um, everything that's happened. Um, with YouTube. So uh, I appreciate you guys and um, I will see you all soon. And um, thanks for watching and commenting um, and you know everything that you guys do for me. Thanks. Bye for now.